Hi, I'm Chris Gasper and this is Globe 10.0, joined today by Joe Sullivan. Well, the Patriots very active in the offseason coming off their loss in the Super Bowl to the Giants. They added a lot of depth and a lot of big name players, but there's not enough room on the roster for everybody. So who are the veteran guys, Joe, that you feel like could be on the chopping block? And it, it does happen every year, Chris. There's someone, that time runs out on somebody. But, you know, when I was looking at the roster, I focus on the wide receiver position. I think Julian Edelman, there's a guy. Really? Well, interesting. Well, here's what's interesting. How about Aaron Hernandez fielding punts already in yes, training camp? I witnessed and this. And that's Edelman job and so obviously they might be making plans to what are they going to do if they have to cut Edelman but you look at that wide receiver position it is so overloaded they really can only keep five and they have they have seven guys who are capable of making this team yeah I mean, someone's going to go and good analyst Chris you know who are you going to you know Gaffney's going to make the team. I Branch is going to make the team. And See, I'm not. Whoa, that's right, up there. Right. I'm putting up the stop sign. I'm not sure. Welker who and makes Lloyd it. are going to make the team. Yes. All right. I'm not sure ahead. that Branch is an automatic because okay. I think Branch and Gaffney are somewhat redundant. Okay. I think Branch is at a stage in his career. He doesn't really do special teams. They've had him returning some punts, but if he returns punts, it's only going to be in sort of that Kevin Falk fair catch role, you know, <laughs> that they like to have inside the ten. And, and I think Welker can do that. So I'm sure not he can. sure. You know, I'm not sure. That I think Gaffney has a little more speed, can do a little more on the outside. It might come down to Gaffney and Branch, and I think Gaffney has more left in the tank than Branch. I, I mean, I love Deion Branch. I'd like to see him on this team, but I think that could be what it comes down to. I think Stallworth is probably gone. I'll throw a couple of other names at you at other positions Stallworth here. could be gone, yeah. Uh, you know, tight end, Shanko's there, and Fells, who right now is hurt. I think one of those guys gets cut, and they're yeah. both pretty big names. Yeah, you're right about uh, that. I think offensive line-wise, you know, Robert Gell. I'll throw a surprise. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. I, I don't. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but if, if, if throughout camp uh, he did not perform well, I could see Dan Copen. They waited a long time to bring Copen back, and they yeah. signed Dan Conley right. first. Right. And if Waters comes back and Mankins is able to come back from that ACL, I could see them uh, well, parting that's gallery with comes Copen. In. The gallery can play for Mankins. Then Connolly can play center. I also have Gallery potentially on the chopping. He has yeah. not looked good mm -hmm. in training camp. I'm, that offensive line worries me a little bit. So you could see some shuffling there. You know, doing what Parcells used to do. Belichick, obviously a Parcells disciple. You churn. You know, when you're not, when you don't like the depth at a certain position, you just keep churning to try and keep everybody on their toes, so that the guys you feel like should be performing better do perform better. So who's your choice? Who's the veteran on the offensive line that's going in your mind? In my mind, I'm going to say it. I'll say Gallery. Gallery. You know, I'll say Gallery. Again, Copen, Brady's friendly with him. I'm not sure what else they would do with. Center, I think Donald Thomas can play there, but I'm going to say Gallery. He has not been that impressive so far in training camp, even though it's. Early. And I think Edelman is the one. 